Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And today we're here for game three of the 84 Padres taking on the 1990 Reds. Now, if you've been following this series, and I know that many of you have, you know that the Reds are up two games to nothing in the best of five. So if the Reds can nail it down today, the Reds will go on to play the 87 Giants. And let's face it, that's eventually what's going to happen. But will it happen tonight? That's the question. So, the 84 Padres are playing for their lives. They're trying to stay alive in this series. And as such, the fact that they lost the previous two games, they will have a lineup change. The DH will be for the uh, Padres will be Tim Flannery and Carmelo Martinez will move to left field. And in place of Terry Kennedy at catcher, we will have the former Giants manager, Bruce Bochy. So those are the only two changes for the Padres. And of course, the Reds lineup will stay the same because they won two games with the same lineup against the same team. So, uh, pitching today for the Cincinnati Reds will be the All-American boy, Jack Armstrong. You remember Jack Armstrong? Well, if you don't, in 1990, he was 12-9 and nine with a 342 earned run average and 166 innings pitched. And he, today, will be faced by Eric Shaw. And Eric Shaw, in 1984, was 15 and 9 with a 340 earned run average in 207 innings pitched. So, without any further delay, let's get on with this game because I know everybody is waiting to see what happens. Alan Wiggins is leading off against the All American boy, and he gets a 2 6, which is a line out to first base. One away. Line out to three. Tony Gwynn. Hasn't done a lot this series. He gets a 210, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he grounds back to Jack Armstrong, who throws on to first and gets him to away. And that brings up Steve Garvey, the first baseman, and he gets a ground ball to third base. So he bounces out five to three, and the Padres are off to one of their usual for this series bad starts. Where they get no runs. And we go to the bottom of the first inning. Billy Duran Duran is going to face Eric Shaw. He gets a 110, which is a double one, two, or a single. And that is, in fact, a single for Bill Duran. Now we know that Bill Duran can steal, but first let's see what happens. Well, first let's record the hit. All right, so he is a stealing A, and Bochi at catcher is a plus one arm, so that's a no-brainer for him. But, yes, he barely makes it. He barely gets in because Bochi had a plus one arm. So, and I don't think Terry Kennedy's was any better. So, he um, actually does steal second. So, let's see here. Stolen bases, Duran, and now he's standing at second with still no outs. Barry Larkin's up. He gets a 6-5. Six, 6-5 five. Six, five is a walk. So Shao is starting off in a very bad way here. Shao giving up a hit and a walk. And that brings up Hal Morris, the first baseman. He gets a 6-7. That's a ground ball to short. That's Templeton. Hopefully he makes the player. They're in a lot of trouble. And he does. It's a double play. So Duran will go to third on that. But Hal Morris bounces out. Um, what is that? 6-4-3, uh, yeah. 
And that brings up Chris Sabo. And he gets a 410, which is a double one to two or a single. That's going to knock in a run. And it does. It's a single for Sabo. Sabo getting a single. Run comes home. It's another hit for the Reds. And it's a run for the Reds. And Sabo will stay right where he is with two outs and Eric Davis up. And he gets a 6-11. And that is a fly ball to left. The left fielder for the Padres today is Carmelo Martinez, who is the new replacement out there, and he is allowing a double. So, not good news. <laughs> the Reds look like they really want to wrap it up right now. They want to wrap this thing up. They don't even want to pretend. So, that's another hit. Another hit given up by... Um, by Shaw, double for Davis, and um, that brings up Glenn Braggs. They've really got to hope they get Glenn Braggs. And that's a 4-6, which is a pop-out to second base, and they do. So, pop-out to four, and the Reds only get a run, but they threaten. They could have had more. We'll see if this comes back to haunt the Reds later. But right now... They're up 1-0 with Kevin McReynolds up. He gets a 6-10. That's a fly ball to center. That is Eric Davis, and he's a 2. That is a 9. That's probably going to be something. And it is. It's a double. And the Padres get their first hit. Kevin McReynolds with the single. I know I don't keep good track of those uh, that bottom thing where the runner you know right here but I'm gonna try oh wait and then actually he's on second so Greg Nettles is up with no outs and uh, and the, that's the um, okay hold on I made a mistake. I recorded in the wrong place. So, yeah, Eric Shaw is the one that gave up two hits and a walk and an earned run. All right. Now, Greg Nettles is up. He gets a 6-7. And that is a fly ball to right field, one away. So, Nettles flies out to nine, one out, and... Up steps Carmelo Martinez. He gets a 5-12. That is a fly ball center field. Two away. Fly out to eight. And Tim Flannery gets a 6-6. Six, six, and that's a pop out to shortstop. So that ended quite, um, uh, quite abruptly after they let off with the, the double. That brings up Billy Hatcher. Billy Hatcher coming up for the Reds against Shaw. That's a 412, which is a ground ball first base, one away. Winningham is up. He gets a 6-9. That is a fly ball to right, two away. And that brings up Joe Oliver. And he gets a 5-6, which is a line out to first. No runs come in for the Reds. We go to the top of the third. Gary Templeton's up. He gets a 1-9. That's a ground ball second, one away. Bruce Bochy comes up. He gets a 5-10. 5-10 is a home run 1-3 to three or a double. And Bochy hitting a double. So the replacement for Kennedy somewhat pays off here, although he did fail to get 
um, Duran stealing second. Alan Wiggins is up with one out, and that's a 4-6, and also that's a second hit. So let's put that all down. Uh, Alan Wiggins gets a 4-6, and that is a strikeout. So two away. And that's the first strikeout for Armstrong. And Tony Gwynn is up, and he gets a 5-7, and that is a fly ball center field. Again, Gwen not really having one of the better series. Not, you know, the San Diego really had to, we're going to really rely on him to do well, and he hasn't. So we go to the bottom of the third. And uh, that will bring to the plate Billy Duran Duran, who singled and stole in the first inning, and he gets a ground ball to first. He's out. Oh, wait a minute. We're in the top of the fourth. Wait a minute. No, we're in the bottom of the third. Yeah, we're in the bottom of the third. All right. Barry Larkin is up. He gets a 5-7. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Hal Morris comes up and he gets a ground ball to second base. So uh, the Reds get nothing in the third. We go to the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth, one nothing. It is still a very close game. It's still anyone's game here. Steve Garvey is up. He gets a 1-7, that's a ground ball to third, one away. Kevin McReynolds is up, he gets a 2-7, that's a ground ball to third, so a lot of work. Over there for Sabo, or uh, yeah, Sabo. And Greg Nettles is up and he gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he bounces out um, one to three, and they are out of the inning again very quickly. And yeah, see, I left that guy over there. So uh, no runs for the for the Padres in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Chris Sabo up at the plate. He was busy in the last half inning. Three seven. He gets a fly ball to left. Brings up Eric Davis. He gets a 4-8. And that's a walk. So Eric Davis is aboard with a walk. Shaw with the walk. Second one of the game for him that he's issued. And Glenn Braggs is up. He gets a 6-12. That is a ground ball. Pitcher B. So um, he throws to um, second and gets the fielder's choice. And there is one out. Um, Braggs goes out. Uh, fielder's choice. Billy Hatcher is up. He gets a 2-5, which is a ground ball to short, and it's a double play. 6-4-3, double play. Reds out of the inning. We go to the top of the fifth. If it stays like this, the Reds might just kick themselves because they had a chance in the first to add to their one run that they ended up getting. And right now it's anybody's game still. So Carmelo Martinez is up at the plate. He gets a 3-5, which is a walk. So Armstrong loses him.
Flannery up. And Flannery gets a 5-7, which is a fly ball to center, one away. Gary Templeton at the plate. He gets a 5-8. That's a double 1-11. to 11. And it is a double. So runners are at second and third for San Diego with um, only one out. And the Padres are going to bring the infield in with Bruce Bochy up. He gets a 5-10. That's a home run, 1-3, to three, or a double. And that's going to be a double and score two runs. So, Bochy with a double. Two run score. And there is two more hits for the Padres. And another, and a run. Two runs, actually. And so now they lead two to one with a man at second. And Alan Wiggins up and he gets a two nine, which is a fly ball to left to away. Fly out to seven. That's two down. And Tony Gwynn up. And in a key situation, Tony Gwynn rips a single level asterisk and knocks in another run. And Armstrong gives up his fifth hit. Fifth hit and his third earned run. And Steve Garvey is up and he gets a 1 6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and he's out, and the uh, inning is over 6 to 3. But not before the Padres strike for three runs right there and have a 3 to 1 lead with Herm Winningham coming to the plate for the Reds. Now it's up to Shaw to hold them down. And that is a line out to first base for Winningham. Joe Oliver up, he gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. And uh, that is actually Shao's first strikeout. And Bill Duran comes up and he gets a 1-9. He has been a thorn in their side all day and that's a triple 1-2 to two double. And that's going to be a double. He almost had a triple on that. Shao giving up his uh, fourth hit. And Barry Larkin up. He gets a 3-7, which is a single, and you know they're going to send the main man. So let's go, first of all, let's record the single. Let's record the single everywhere that we got the hit. Um, the fifth hit for the Reds. And Duran's a running 1-15. to And that's a 9, so I know he makes it. It doesn't matter. There is no arm that's a negative 6 or 7, so... Larkin will actually end up with an RBI. That's an earned run given up by um, Shaw. And they do get a second run of the game. And Hal Morris up at the plate, and he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. And that's only Shaw's second strikeout. So the Reds do get a run, and they make the score three to two. And with that, that's going to be it for Armstrong. So Armstrong will go five complete.
and they will bring in Tim Burtzis because they need to get some innings here. Burtzis in 1990 was one and three with a 386 earned run average in 51 innings pitched. And that brings up McReynolds to face him. He gets a 110. That's a home run for Kevin McReynolds. He greets Tim Burtzis with a jack. So apparently the Padres don't really want to go home just yet. So that is another hit for the Padres, and it's another run for the Padres. And Burtzis allows a hit and a home run, or and an earned a home run and an earned run. And up steps Greg Nettles, and he gets a 2-8, which is a walk. Nettles draws a walk from Burtzis. Carmelo Martinez gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is a fly ball to center one way. One down, and actually there's a man at first, not at second. Flannery is up. He gets a 5-11. And on Burtzis, that's a triple one or a double. And it will be a double. So Flannery ripping a double, and he's a replacement from the last, from the previous two games. Moving Nettles to third base. And now the uh, Reds will bring the infield in. Templeton up. He gets a 3-10, which is a fly ball right field B, and knocks in the man from third. So that's a sack fly. And did I... Let's see, did I get that hit? I don't know. But anyway, it's another run. Um, yeah. And so Bochi is up at the plate. And now there's nobody on. And he gets a 1-2, which is a foul out to the catcher. So Bochi fouls out to 2. And not, um, that's the end of the inning but for the Padres, but they do get two in the top of the sixth. And they make the score five to two with the Padres leading the Reds. And Sabo comes up. He gets a 110, home run one to nine, or a double. So that's what it is. Sabo with a double here in the bottom of the sixth. Eric Davis up. 2 9 is a strikeout, one away. Shaw with the K. Glenn Braggs is up. He gets a 1-4. That's a ground ball shortstop. Two away. And Billy Hatcher gets a 1-8, which is a single one asterisk. So the runner cannot advance home. They have runners at the corners. That's another hit for the Reds. And Winningham is up. He gets a 6-6, six, six, and that is a pop-out to third base. So, no runs come in 
for the Reds, despite the fact that they threatened a bit and we go to the top of the seventh. And Alhina Wiggins is up at the plate in the seventh. Burchis is still out there. 5-5 five, five is a home run. Alan Wiggins going deep. And Alan Wiggins only had three that year, but this is not the advanced game. So it will go as a home run. Burchis giving up the hit and the earned run and the home run. His second home run allowed. Tony Gwynn is up. He gets a 1-5. That's a ground ball second. One away. Steve Garvey comes up. He gets a 5-5. Five, five, and that's a home run. Gone. Burtzis is giving out homers like candy at the fair. Screwed it all up. And, uh... So, anyway. Um... We have two runs. Where are we? Top of the seventh. Yeah, two runs have already come in, and McReynolds is up. And he gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball short, two away. McReynolds out. Out to shortstop, 6-3. And Nettles is up, and he gets a 5-10, and that's a ground ball second base. So he's out 4-3, but the Padres get two more runs in the seventh. And uh, I, I have a feeling that's the last we're going to see of Burtzis. We go to the bottom of the seventh with Joe Oliver up. And he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball third base. That brings up Billy Duran. He gets a 2-9 which is a strikeout. And Barry Larkin comes up and he gets a 2-5, which is a single. That's a seventh hit allowed for uh, Shao. And then we have a 3-6, which is a single double asterisk for Hal Morris. So now runners are at the corners for the Reds. Trying to make the improbable comeback. And Chris Sabo's up and he gets a 5-3, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is considered to be a 2. No, he's a 4. What? Is he? Let's see. Yeah, he's... No, he's uh, considered to be a two defensively, I believe. But that's 11 and two, and that is still a one base error. So a run comes in. Sabo scores on an error. Or Sabo forces a run in by getting on by an error, and Larkin is the run. And Eric Davis gets a fly ball to l no seven no that's a walk the bases are loaded up and Shao continues to be in trouble now man without the scoreboard I am really lost um, Shao with a walk third walk of the game I believe. And Glenn Braggs is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a single and knocks in a run. This is an unbelievable. So two runs are in now for the Reds here in the seventh. And that's another hit. Eight hits. And it's another two earned runs. And Hatcher is up. Now there is... There's... Wait a minute. Is that right? There's no out? No, there is. Well, there's one out. So Hatcher's up. He gets a 6-7. That's a ground ball to short. 
That's Templeton and he's a two. That's an 11. 11 and two is an out double play. So they finally do get out of the inning. But not before the Reds get two runs of their own. And so now it is three, four, five, seven to four. So the game is still good and Burtzis is out. Burtzis went two innings and they were not, they were two very, very bad innings. And, um, that will force them to go to Tim Liana. They don't want to waste one of the nasty boys here because they may need them. And they also, it's not a must win for the Reds. It's a must win for the Padres. So Carmelo Martinez is up at the plate um, in here in the eighth. And that's a 4-7, which is a walk. So the Reds relievers, I guess except for the Nasty Boys, are terrible. Liana walks a man, the first one he faces. Flannery's up, he gets a 1-9, that's a single. Gary Templeton's up, he gets a 6-7, that's a walk. This is crazy. All of a sudden, runs are coming out of the woodwork. So there's a walk to Templeton. He goes to third, he goes to second. Liana doesn't have an out yet with the bases loaded and Bruce Bochy up and he gets a 110, which is a line out to second, one away. Brings up Alan Wiggins, he gets a 3-5, that's a single and knocks in a run. And I think at this point, the Reds are just going to chalk this up to let's come back and try it again tomorrow. 6-5 is a strikeout. So there's two away. Tony Gwynn striking out. Tony Gwynn continuing to have a terrible series. And Steve Garvey gets a 1-3, which is a pop-out to shortstop. Pop-out to 6, but not before... Another run comes across for the Padres in the eighth, making it eight to four, I believe. Yes, it is. And Herm Winningham is up for the Reds. And that's going to be it for Shaw as well. So Shaw pitch is seven innings because we're in the eighth, right? Yeah. And so Shao pitches seven, gives up eight hits, walks three, and gives up four earned runs. And he's going to give way to Goose, the Goose, Goose Gossage. First time we've seen him. And, uh, yeah, and Winningham is up. And he gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball third, one away. That brings up Joe Oliver. He gets a 5-8. That's a ground ball short. Templeton's a 2. That is a 6. That's an out. And finally, that brings up, well, maybe not finally, but it does bring up Bill Duran. 4-8 is a strikeout, but it is finally. So they get no runs in the eighth, but you know, you know, the game is still going, but um, they don't have any runs there. So it's 8-4. We go to the top of the ninth, 8-4 Padres. 
And McReynolds is up, and he gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball to the center fielder. And that's Davis, and he's a 2. And that is, what is that? That's a 7, so he's out. McReynolds, fly out to 8. Nettles up, he gets a 2-11, which is a walk. Liana walks a man. A third walk for Liana against two hits as well. Martinez is up. Gets 111. That's a pop to third. And Tim Flannery coming up, and he gets a 4 6, which is a double 1 to 9 or a single. And that's going to be a double. So the Padres have runners at second and third. And Templeton up. And he gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball short. So no runs do come in, ultimately, for the Padres in the ninth. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. The Reds are down by four. They're down by the score of eight to four. Got to get four runs here. Barry Larkin is up. He gets a 3-9, which is a single. So that's a good start for them. Gossage giving up his first base runner, and it's in the form of a single to Larkin with Morris up, and he gets a 1-6, which is a triple 1-4 to four or a double. That's going to be a double. So they got runners at second and third. And Gossage with his second hit allowed. Chris Sabo is up. He gets a 1-6, which is a home run, three-run homer for Chris Sabo. Unbelievable. The Reds trying to come all the way back here. And uh, Gossage with his third hit, first homer allowed, and three runs. Still against no outs. Eric Davis is up. He gets a 312, which is a ground ball third base. So he's out. Five to three. One down. Glenn Braggs is up. He gets a 2-6, which is a single. So the Reds are not dead yet. If you wrote them off, I don't know. I mean I did, but maybe you at home didn't. Billy Hatcher is up. He gets a 6-7. That's a strikeout. Two away. So now they come down to Herm Winningham. He hit 256. They're going to go. They're going to let him hit. He gets a 3-6 and he strikes out. So Gossage does uh, finally end up getting nailing it down. And the uh, Padres win game three of this series by the score of eight to seven. The Reds made a, a, a hearty comeback there in the ninth, but they just couldn't finish it off. And so that's it for me, Sportsmanzy, Bob Zolke, signing off.